Okay, when you focus on your breath, you're listening to your wisdom, you're listening to your discernment. It tells you this is for your own good. That's a voice you should listen to, because there are lots of other voices in the mind that can tell you all kinds of other things. And that they're not going to fall silent as soon as you focus on the breath. They're going to wait for a few minutes, and then they're going to come bumbling up again. So you have to be able to say no, 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 all the way down the line. This is why John Lee recommends that before you meditate, you stop and think about all the things that would pull you out into the world and where they would lead you. Think about them until you've decided you've had enough of that. It's time to find something new inside the mind. Because the world doesn't have that much new to offer. It has food, clothing, shelter, medicine, and it has wealth, it has praise, it has status, sensual pleasures. And that's pretty much it. And we've had those things before. And to whatever extent they were good, they've gone. And a lot of times the goodness is only in the first taste or only in the anticipation. When you actually got them, they weren't quite what you thought they were. But here's something that's special. <laughs> People of integrity have said, okay, this is genuine happiness. It's worth all the effort that goes into it. So listen to their voices. And John Swat used to say, if you don't believe anybody else, believe the Buddha. He was earnest about finding his own happiness, and then we found it. He was earnest about helping other people find theirs. Didn't teach for money, didn't even give Donna talks. He had something really good to share, and he shared it. And he used all of his energy and all of his discernment in trying to figure out the best way to share it. People like that are hard to find. So listen to their voice. Layer of voices, rather than the voices of your greed, aversion, and delusion, or your laziness, or all the other voices that we've let run our lives for so long. You'd be glad that you did listen to the voice of the Buddha and the noble disciples, because they're people you can trust, and you want to learn how to take their example so you can trust yourself as well. So when a voice comes up in the mind, you can learn how to recognize, okay, this is actually helpful, this is not. <laughs>